Middlesbrough clung on to sixth spot in the championship after surviving a late barrage from Brantford. Tony Pulis had seen his side take the lead midway through the first half thanks to Barcelona Academy product Adama Traore, but were pegged back when Lewis McLeod, making his first start after a long injury absence, leveled for the hosts. The northeast side were then forced into rear guard action for the majority of the second half, as Dean Smith's side threatened a winner but striker Neil Morpé was guilty of missing the pick of the chances as they were, made to settle for a point. The writing was on the wall for Brantford from the ninth minute, when Neil Morpé should have done better with Lewis McLeod's inviting cross, but the former nice striker couldn't get any meaningful purchase on his header. The former France under-21 international was well placed again minutes later when Chris Mepham's low centre fell at his feet just six yards out but the number 9 could only spoon his effort into the scrum of Middlesbrough fans packed in behind the goal. Traoré on the other hand, looked in the mood. The 22-year-old, called up the Spain under-21 squad for the first time this week, drew a cynical foul from Ryan Woods after 14 minutes, the Brentford midfielder unsurprisingly booked for bringing down the winger in full flight. There was little the Brentford defence could do on 21 minutes though, when Traoré wandered across to the left flank to pick up the ball. He fainted and shuffled his away across the 18-yard line before hammering a shot past Darren Bentley into the left-hand corner. McLeod tested the reactions of Randolph with a snapshot from outside the area, the keeper reacting well to beat the ball away from danger with one hand. There was little Randolph could do however as the same player fired home the equaliser just after the half-hour mark. Brentford, 4-1-4-1, Bentley 6, Dahl Scard 6, Egan 6, Mepham 6, Clark 6, with 6.5. Josef Zun 6, McLeod 7, Sawyer 74, 6, Mokoto 6, Watkins 6, Kano 67, 6.5, Mape 5. Subs not used, Yan Eris, Mark Onjish, Daniels, Barbet. Bookings, Woods, Sawyers, Mepham sent off, Sawyers goal, McLeod 34 Middlesbrough, 4141, Randolph 6.5, Shotton 6, Friend 6, Fry 60, 6, Gibson 6.5, Ayala 6, Clayton 6, Traoré 7, Housen 6, Leadbitter 64, 6, Bezik 5.5, Asambalonga 74, 6, Downing 6, Bamford 5.5, Subs not used, Constantopoulos, Craney, Harrison, Baker. Bookings, Clayton, Gibson, Bezik. Friend goal, Traoré 21 referee, Simon Hooper attendance. 11,134 Woods managed to move the ball out to the right and Florian. Josef Zun found McLeod late surge in the box with his cutback. Ben Gibson got his body in the way of the first effort but when the ball fell at the midfielder's feet once more he made no mistake, burying the ball in the bottom left-hand corner. As the snow swirled that little bit quicker at the beginning of the second half, so the pace of the game did too, with Stuart Downing forcing Henrik Dalskard into foul after speeding past him. It was the former England internationals' delivery from deep free kick moments later that brought around the best opening for Borough to regain their lead. But informed striker Patrick Bamford fluffed his lines when given the freedom of the back post to volley home. Next, it was Brentford's turn to misfire, as Mape reproduced the same party piece of the first half, by leaning back and blazing over after Josephson's burst into the area. The hosts began to seize control as they exploited pockets of space down the right. Dalskard slipped into the penalty are unchallenged but a shot Coombe cross was cleared away. Before substitute Romain Sawyers saw his low drive diverted round the post by a Randolph smart stop. Sawyers then soared for two bookable offences after preventing Traoré from mounting a counter. Before Bentley was forced into a fine stop to deny substitute Grant Ledbetter from securing all three points for Borough with a late chip. 